Welcome to our video on deck toys. Now you'll notice we have prepared for you an outline step by step and a video that you'll see in a few minutes that will pertain to how to create your lessons. Now integrating technology in the classroom is vitally important and this is a good way to do it. Is it difficult? No. Is it easy? Yes. And it's also very user friendly and the students will truly love it. Now, you'll notice that we prepared for you. Here's the website you go to, deck.toys. You go to the website and we're gonna show you how to log in. You use obviously your Google account if you have one. Now there's two forms here. There's a free form, which you can get automatically. And there's a pro one, which costs approximately $8 a month. Now in the video we're going to show you in detail how to do things but it's vitally important it's very important that you choose your path correctly now what I mean by a path you look down here there's little dots that will be on your screen make sure that you put your land masses and your street if you will right over the dots and by doing so it will enable the students to click on the first one and travel in its path now you'll notice I have one, two, three, four, five lessons. It's the same lesson, but it's prepared differently for each one. And you'll see what I mean when you look at the video. Fun and easy to do. Now, you can edit your background, and it says here to do it on the screen. Um, you can put different objects on here, trees and all that. That's, <laughs> that's easy to do, okay? Um, when you prepare your road, when you do one of them, just simply make it black if you want, and you can hit duplicate and then just adjust the sizes. And the video will show you all that. And if you want something more like this boat that you have here and this fisherman that you see, you click on image picker and you can decide a lot of different things to put there. Now, I created a start and you will too, and I created a finish, which allows the students to see exactly what's going on. And each set of activities is fun. Very, very much, much fun for you to do. And we'll go over that very shortly. Now, when you're done with your lesson and you want to share it with your students and or other teachers, click on or share the video. Click on the down arrow that's below your deck. It says edit deck. And you may share it with other teachers and more. But you're going to have to make sure that you're very honest and putting in your name, your email account, and make sure that everything that you've done is correct, right? Because if it's not, people aren't going to want to use it. And it's very simple for you to double check. Okay, well, you can read all this. And like I said, we prepared this for you right next to the video. Um, and if you want, you can print it out to help you out. And let's go ahead now and start the video. When you type in deck.toys, this screen will appear. Now, the first time you've used it, you want to click on Teacher Sign Up. But uh, since I've already started, I'm going to click on Login. When I do that, I'm going to sign up with my Google account. And in doing so, this is the screen that you'll have. Ignore this lesson right here. I use that to experiment with. I'm going to click on create a new lesson. And when I hit a create a new lesson, I'm now going to type in the name of the lesson. The name of my lesson is Addition 10 Frame. And click on OK. When you click on your background, you'll notice what we're going to see here are a bunch of dots. It's extremely important that you create your path. So I'm going to click here to get my dots here. And I'm going to continue it all the way around. And you can see you can make many different ones. But let's make this simple. And this is the path that you're going to place your lessons on. And you must place your lessons on this path. Okay. Oops. Now, I'm going to click on um, Edit Background. And in doing so, up here at the top, I'm going to click on this down arrow. And I'm going to choose blue, right, like it's water, as my background. The next thing I'm going to choose is landmass. 
okay I'm gonna choose uh, this one now what you can do here is may see the your dots are right there on the landmass which is important to have that okay I'm gonna put a landmass there and you know you can grab the handles make it bigger or larger okay I'm gonna choose another landmass let's choose this one and put that over here and move that up so we're on the dots and let's choose another landmass okay let's go with this one not being too original <laughs> and put one right about here and make this one a little bit lower and a little bit bigger okay there we go now once you've done this let me make it a little bit bigger here once you've done this you want to make a, a map or a road that uh, you can go by and to do that again I'm see here's this next block I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna choose this line this horizontal line and I'm gonna make the color black okay and uh, hit apply and in doing so I'm gonna put it right about here and let's grab this handle and make it a little bit thicker so there's no question where it is now what I can do is I can duplicate it okay and duplicate it again I make this one a little bit smaller and you can see what I'm doing here duplicate it again and I'm going to rotate this one obviously Oop. Now these are pretty simple things for you to do to get these straight up and down and I'm going to elongate this one and then duplicate it again let me hit pause so you don't see me do this waste your time okay so what we have here is the path that we're going to place everything on now what we can do is go back up here see where the tree is and we can place this is the free one this is the pro you get all these extra things here I'm gonna place this tree right and just make it a little bit fancier and put one right about here okay let's do another one uh, this purple one which is nice and move that one right about here and let's hit another tree oh I can place this little mountain if you will makes it more interesting put that one right dips whoops put that one right there and if you don't see anything else that you want up here you can just simply click on the image picker right and in doing so I'm gonna type in here boat you can type in anything you want and I'm gonna click on double click on this boat with these two kids and make that a little bit smaller and put one right about there okay let's move this guy down some and I'm gonna click on image picker again just so you know how to do it and I'm gonna go Fisher fishing and see what we have here's some fishing and I probably don't want well I can put this one in the water here double click if you want okay put them right about there and again remember just grab the handle and make it as big and as small as you want and then what we can go is we typed in man fishing and I'm gonna click on this guy okay make it a little bit smaller and put him right about there okay now oh let's put some more let's put another tree up here I'm gonna take this one and make it smaller and put it right about there and maybe uh, one more tree of course, you can get trees from the other thing, too, by typing it in. Okay. If you like trees or whatever you want to put on here. Okay. So, in essence, 
don't try to put too much up there, okay? <laughs> because I don't know if anybody's going to appreciate it. Now, um, the next thing we want to do is we want to know how to start, how to get this done. So down here, I'm going to click on Save and Exit Background, okay? So I'm going to Save and Exit, and I'm going to create a signpost, right? And I'm going to drag it right about here, and I'm going to type in Start. So the students know exactly where to start. Oh. And click on OK. Now, I can click on right here, this down arrow, and change the color to something I want. OK, that would be a good one. And if I click right in here, I can, I can type in um, uh, a GIF that I might be interested in having on this one. And I'm going to click on this little icon. And here I have a sign. You have different signs. But I'm going to click on Start and see what happens with that one. Oh, good. We got Bugs Bunny. So this is the one we want. So I'm going to click on it. And down here we can hit save and and I double clicked on it and I said students start your lessons here okay and I'm gonna hit save now what we need to do is put a lesson activity lesson well I'm gonna click on study set and I placed it right here you notice it says flashcards um, which is good that's what I want flashcards and what I'm going to do here is um, type in over here click on study set click on plus new blank okay oops we don't want that one we just want one of them so we'll delete that one and what I'm going to do is get some images to put up here now I've already taken some images in PowerPoint and using my account, I'm going to use the snipping tool and I'm going to place the first image right here. So let me hit pause and then bring up my PowerPoint. Okay, here's my snipping tool. And in doing so, I'm going to highlight this one. Okay, and go back to here on this image click inside now I clicked inside and paste this image and I have say 4 plus what equals 10 and that's what we have here so if I click this again it'll turn around and there's the response okay so I need another image so I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint copy it and paste it here I hit control V to paste it and I'm going to go 8 for my term 8 plus what equals 10 okay and let's put another one so let me complete these and you see exactly how I'm doing it I go back to my PowerPoint I copy it I hit control V to paste it and I put a term in here okay you'll notice on the left here I have the terms and the pictures right and over here is the results so 9 plus what equals 10 and you can see the answers are all interwoven so when you're done with that you just simply I have more things to do here but I'm gonna simply hit save okay so that's my flashcards now I'm gonna create another study activity I'm gonna grab this and put it right about here okay and this one says choices so I'm going to click on it and see if that's the one we want. Choices. Yes, it is. And that works pretty good. 2 plus 1 equals 10. So you look down here, and which one of these goes with 2 plus 1 equals 10? Well, this one does. So I'm going to click on it and hit Submit. And then Next. Okay? So that one works pretty good. So that's I want that one. So I'm going to hit... Remember, you can pick any one you want. I'm going to hit save so I have choices. So I'm going to grab another study activity and place it right about here. 
and it says matches. Now, see this little arrow? I'm going to click on that. If you want, these are orange. You can change them to any color you want, or you can adjust them. You decide how you want to do it, okay? We can make it black, or gray, or purple. <laughs> Whatever color you want. Now, matches. Let's see if that's the one I want. So I'm going to click on it. And here's matches. Oh, this looks pretty good. All you have to do is match this with the concept below. 9 plus 1 equals 10. Okay. Uh, 9 plus... Here we go. Put this down here. 9 plus that equals 10. Now you got to do them all. 2 plus 1 equals 10. 2 plus... Okay, put that one here. I'm going to hit pause. So I'll complete this. You don't have, I think you know the answers. Okay, and here's the last one. 8 plus 1 equals 10. So I got them all right. Wow, that's pretty good of me. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to click on OK. Now remember, there's quite a few things here you can choose from. I didn't have to use that one. I could have switched it over to any other one. Let me hit the X here. Oh, I'm going to hit Save. To save it, okay. Now if I want another activity... I just simply grab it and place it wherever I like it. Oh, this one's a maze. Well, if you want the maze, just click on it. And what you have to do here with the maze, see, this is pretty interesting. You have to have 7 plus 1 equals 10. You use the car. Okay. And 7 plus 1 equals 10. you got to take it to the plane. See the plane here? So the kid will actually grab this and move <laughs> grab the car move it down to the airplane oh boy I got that one right amazing and the next one is 2 plus 1 equals 10 and you have to find the next one that would be the bicycle right and that's way down here um, you don't want to see me go through all these, but you understand. So your kids probably would like that. And if I want this one, I just simply would hit save. Okay? Now, now I grabbed another one, lines. I put it down here. And I'm going to click on it. And what you have to do is draw a line from 6 plus 1 equals 10. However, if you look carefully, I don't think you want this one. You can do jigsaw, which is really something. Uh, lines we already had. Memory, right? You get to click on the right memory. So I'm going to leave it as lines. Okay? And with this one, it's 7 plus 1 equals 10. So 7's down here, right? So I'm going to grab the 7, draw my line. Now, if you don't have it correct, it turns red. If you do have it correct, It'll turn green. Okay? All right. So, if you want to put more activities on there, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to hit save because we want to save that one. So, we have quite a few. One, two, three, four. We have five activities. And now we want to end it. All right? Or you can put more on there. It's up to you. Okay. When you're all done, what you want to do is take the signpost. Again, put it here at the end. Okay? And for the end title... Let's call it finish, which makes sense. All right, and let me click on the signpost again. In the GIF, let's type in that's all folks and see what happens here. Oh, good. So we get this one. Let's click on this one. We want this one. <laughs> okay. And hit OK. And hit Save. And then let's click on it one more time. And we want to tell the kids. Thanks for working on this lesson. And hit Save. Okay. Hopefully all that made sense. Now, I don't know if you want to put more on here. Depends on how long <laughs> or how much time you have. But the kids can definitely do this at home. Okay. Well, thanks for watching our video.
and hopefully blending technology in the classroom as you can see is vitally important now simply to share this with your students or whomever it says here edit deck click on the down arrow and you can share it with your students or share with other teachers by clicking on this and obviously you can see there's other things that you can you can definitely do so when you click on share with other teachers for example you would choose the subject area okay public so forth and then just simply click on OK to uh, continue on I've already done this because that's the one you're looking at if you were uh, so you have a general idea of how to do that so you can see it's pretty easy very straightforward it's fun for the kids it's blending technology it's a win-win situation which is really, really good to have. That's all, folks.